You're not a manager of your life. You're a creator of your life. How do you create your life? You get hungry for something else. You decided there's something you wanted so bad that you unleashed all your desire. You became obsessed with it. If it was a business or a car or a relationship or a transformation in your body, if there's something you once envisioned and now it's real, it's because you didn't just envision it, you brought so much emotion to it that now it's in your life. It was once a dream, it was once a goal, and now it's in your life. You may take it for granted now, hopefully not, but it was once just a vision. It may have seemed impossible at one time, so how did you do it? You started with a concrete vision of what you wanted and you focused on it continuously, didn't you? Wherever focus goes, energy flows. You envisioned something, you got clear about it, and then you started thinking about all the reasons why you wanted it. You got excited about it. You said, this is what's next for me now. I want this. You may have dreamed about it, thought about it, talked about it. But when you focus on something continuously, something magical happens. If you concentrate solely on your career, you can get a long way in your career. And I would say that that's a strategy that a minority of men preferentially do. That that's all they do. They work like 70, 80 hours a week. They go flat out on their career. They're staking everything on the small probability of exceptional status in a narrow domain. But it's, it's hard on them. They don't have a life. It's very difficult for them to have a family. They don't know how to take any leisure activity, like they get very one dimension. Now, it may be that that unidimensionality is the price you have to pay to be exceptional at one thing, right? Because if you're gonna be something like a genius level mathematician, and you wanna do that for, or a scientist say, it's like, you're in your lab, you're in your lab all the time, you're working 70 hours a week or 80 hours a week, you're smart, you're dedicated, you're unidimensional, and that's how you get to beat all the other people who are doing that. It's the only way. But the problem is you don't get a life. Now, if you love being a scientist and you have that kind of focus of mind, well, first of all, you're a rare person, and second, you're gonna pay for it. But fine, more power to you. But, but, it's a, it's a risky business to do that. You sacrifice a lot for it. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide. Fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always study it because I'm trying to get it. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you are gonna fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. Fuck all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. You do the work now. Do the work now. And all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. time to stay focused, man.